So today we are using pretty big live shrimp. And we're doing it, whoo! And we're doing this with really ultra light line. This is 20 pound line and a small little hook. So I'm barely hooking it on. On this I've got a little split shot sinker and then a swivel. And we're just throwing it out there, letting it drift around, and big fish are hitting it. Alright, we're going to close out the night at Sebastian Inlet. Whoa, look how clear the water is here. Water splashing everywhere. Crazy water. How you doing, Chris? Frustrating today for me. Yeah. Frustrating. I just can't seem to connect. I got yeah. one small snook since I've been here. I've been seeing fish come in. Just yeah. It's hard for you to get one on, huh? No, I know those days, yeah. Just had a pelican snap my life. Oh man, really? Yeah, I just lost spoon. It's January here in Florida, but back at home, it's way too cold to be doing any fishing. This is prime time fishing here in January in, in Florida, and one of my favorite things to do is use live shrimp. The secret today is using big shrimp. And luckily we got our hands on some jumbo sized shrimps to throw. Yeah. Oh, and it snapped me. And it snapped me. That sounds pretty good, too. Yeah, it did. It snapped me right at the hook. Look. That's exactly what mine did. What happened? Look at that. Look at big fish. all that prey. That's a snook, it's a big fish. So should I put on heavier leader? What well, the size leader are you using? 20? That's what they were saying if you go too heavy that they won't hit it. That's why I wasn't getting any hits when I was using 40. Uh, oh god. All right, look at that knot. Let's see it break through that one. There we go. So now I'm just letting it sit there. When there's a fish, your line will tighten up, you'll feel it, trust me. Snooks, snooks, snooks. Careful, careful. Oh. oh. We should have waited for a net next time. Wait for a net next time. Look at all these live baits. But I'm looking for the big one. I know there's a big one. Oh my gosh. There she goes. Look at that one. He's not going anywhere. There he is. Snook. Yeah! Yeah! 
My nice first snow. ever snook. That's a nice one too. Man, thank you. Thank you for helping me land that. That is a nice one. How does it feel to catch your first snook? How does it feel? Uh, it feels great. I mean, that was so strong. All right, this is how you properly release it, okay? Don't throw it back down. You gotta lower it. Let it, let it gain its energy again. And then it'll swim off. So barnacles. And a that. I appreciate it. So during this time of year, the snook are not in season, so we have to let all the snook go. The one slot I catch, I can't keep. It's killing me. I really want to try what snook tastes like. And every time I've come here, I was unsuccessful in catching snook. And the one snook I catch, three weeks till season starts. But rules are rules. You gotta follow them. Big shrimp. Going on. Bigger shrimp seem to be catching the bigger fish. Small shrimp catch a bunch of fish too, but it seems like those jumbo ones are the ones catching the big ones. There you go. Hey, take your time. Take your time. Take your time, homie. you catch big fish using big live bait that's it for today i had a great time fishing caught my first snook me and my dad both caught some snook today and it was so awesome i caught it on such a light rod light reel setup 
that um, definitely off my bucket list. Some ultralight fishing for snook. The key was using those big jumbo shrimp, as big as you can get them. They didn't want those little ones. Hope this helps you. If anyone's gonna make the trip down to this pier, remember to get some big shrimp. Our job here at Hay Skipper is to help as many people get on fish as possible. We teach through tutorials and crash courses on our website. Check it out on hayskipperfishing.com. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate every one of you, and I'll see you next week. What am I? I'm not gonna keep saying shrimp over and over again. Shrimp, shrimp, shrimp. Pass me the shrimp.